Peekaboo, peeka, peeka, peekaboo. We have a girl and her grandma. And this little girl, the title actually tells us she wants to be just like grandma. And boy, do they share some cool things. This book was written by Kim Rogers, illustrated by Julie Flett, and this book was published by Heart Drum. Here we go, friends. On the steps of a house at the end of the street, Becca watches Grandma bead and bead buckskin moccasins. More than anything, Becca wants to be just like Grandma. Let me try, Becca says, and Grandma hands her thick thread and a thin needle. Together they bead until the sun dips below the tree line and Grandpa calls them in for corn soup. Out the window of the house at the end of the street, Becca watches Grandma dance barefoot near the garden, spinning round and round and round like the most beautiful butterfly Becca has ever seen. More than anything, Becca wants to be just like Grandma. She flitters out the back door and stands near the garden barefoot too. Let me try, she says. Grandma shows Becca some dance moves in the cool grass. Together, they flutter like the most beautiful butterflies Grandpa has ever seen until the sun dips below the tree line and he calls them in for fried chicken. Inside Grandma's studio, Becca watches Grandma paint and paint a colorful sunrise. More than anything, Becca wants to be just like Grandma. Becca sits down next to Grandma and her pretty palette. Let me try, she says. Grandma shows her brush strokes on the textured canvas. Together they paint the most spectacular sunrise anyone has ever painted until the sun dips below the tree line and Grandpa calls them in for pancakes for supper. At the weekend powwow, Becca watches Grandma dance fancy shawl with many other dancers who are half her age. She wins the grand prize. More than anything, Becca wants to be just like Grandma. When it is time for the intertribal, Becca says, let me try. Together, she and Grandma dance until the sun dips below the powwow arbor, and Grandpa calls them over for beans and fry bread. Inside a house at the end of a street, Grandma looks out the window and watches Becca all alone with her ball. Grandma sprints outside and stands next to Becca. Let me try, she says. And Becca shows her the plays she's been practicing for basketball tryouts. More than anything, Grandma wants to be just like Becca. Together they shoot hoops until the sun dips below the tree line and Grandpa calls them in for ducats and white bread. At the school gym, Grandma and Grandpa wait and wait in the hallway during Becca's tryouts so they don't make her nervous. Becca dribbles, she shoots, she scores, she makes the team. Together they high five until the sun dips behind the gym and Grandpa takes them out for pepperoni pizza. They all laugh and eat and celebrate Becca's win. On the steps of a house at the end of the street, Becca 
knows that she is just like grandma. Beading, dancing, painting, winning, playing, eating, celebrating. Spending time with her and grandpa too, together. And grandma knows that she is just like Becca. There's a lovely letter from a lovely person and one of Miss Cindy, one of my most favorite things when books include a glossary. Because sometimes we don't know how to say words and we don't know what words mean. It's so nice when they include that. I like to pronounce things correctly for my friends. So there it is, friends, just like grandma. I miss you. Mwah.